interface and our first topic is should the MLB extend their netting? Owen? I think it's definitely necessary because every time there's a foul ball and there's no netting there to stop it, you never know if it's going to hit someone or smash something. It could, It's terrible if there's not enough. Um, I disagree with that because I think that MLB fans should have the rights to be able to see the game at all times, which people have been arguing about, which will make the MLB lose money, and all that the MLB wants is money. Money, money, money. They don't want the, like, they do want their fans, but they also want money. And by the fans have, getting what they want, they get money. Okay. No, but I mean, like, they want they were being safe. Would you rather, would, do you think if you were in the MLB, you would rather have your fans have a good experience or take down that experience by a little bit so they can be safe? Yes, I do agree with that. Maybe that is true. Except, remember, the MLB, that netting takes away the entire view. Like, you cannot see if you have that netting. It's mesh. You can see through mesh. Um, next topic. Do you think Bryce Harper is overpaid? Yes, definitely. Bryce Harper hasn't been doing. Well, Bryce Harper has awfully been doing not. We've pretty much been doing nothing for the Phillies. So why should they be paying him three hundred thirty million dollars? That's where I disagree. Even if. I agree with you slightly that he is being slightly overpaid, but he has been an impact player for the Phillies. If you look at our record and what we've done last season compared to this season, it's huge. Over, slightly overpaid? I think he's insanely overpaid. Right now he's probably worth $100 million, which is still a big contract, but $330 million and $100 million is a big difference. All MLB players are being overpaid. Most MLB players are being overpaid for contracts that they do not suit up. Fair point, but Bryce Harper, uh, Bryce Harper is, he has, what, 15 home runs? There's other players like Gene Segura or Jay Bruce, who, Jay Bruce, 21 home runs, hit a walk-off double a couple of nights ago. He is getting paid, what is he getting paid? Not $330 million. Gene Segura, walk off 31 home run. Possibly the biggest play all season for the Phillies. He's not getting paid $330 million either. Yeah, that's because he doesn't hustle. All right, next topic. Do you think Brett Brown should be fired? Yes. He was a great coach when the, when the Sixers weren't trying very hard and losing so they can get good draft picks, but now they have good players, so he's a bad coach. No, he's not a bad coach. Yes, I he think is. That, I think that because, well, I don't think he should get fired because look what the Sixers have done. Say they had, like, not Brett Brown, like another coach, like another coach that is worse than him, which there are many. Say they had a worse coach than him. They wouldn't be a three seed. They wouldn't have almost taken down the Raptors, the NBA champions. They players, wouldn't have gotten Joel Embiid. They wouldn't have gotten Ben Simmons. They, they wouldn't have gotten, gotten Joel Embiid. They, they wouldn't have gotten all of those players. He's not the GM. He's the coach. They yeah. would have gotten Joel Embiid. The coach makes and the decisions ben too. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, uh, the they, owner they the, and the GM are the main people who make the decisions. They make the trades. And they wouldn't the have. Picks. They would. Yeah. They, make they the do picks. not make the picks. They make they some. They have decisions. some decision in the picks. Well, even if they don't make the picks, they wouldn't have had Jimmy Butler. They wouldn't have had Tobias Harris. Yes, they would. They wouldn't have because had any we have, guys. We, because we have a great GM. That's why we Elton have. Elton Brand. Do you think Elton Brand is a good GM? If he if he's a bad GM, then how would we get Jimmy and Tobias Harris? Because it's not up to him. It's not yes, up to it him. Is. He makes negotiations with other teams. All right, that's the episode of Interface. For Peter, Zach, and Owen, see you later.